Okay, so here's a quick video to show how to use uh, some of the utilities here in this uh, config saver add-in. So uh, in here, you'll see we can save a configuration, we can switch configurations, uh, just a little utility that will just unsuppress all features in the tree. So if you have a bunch of stuff suppressed, you can just run unsuppress all and unsuppress everything. Uh, edit parameters, um, which I'll show right now, and then uh, modify an existing configuration. So Edit parameters is just another nice little utility. So these are all the user parameters in my model. If I went to um, modify, change parameters, uh, these will be all the user parameters that I've created. And I've used these values like width, height, depth, ply thickness, etc., uh, throughout the creation of this bookcase. So I just like edit parameters. It's just like a quick little uh, thing that I can use here to change this. Maybe I want to look at this um, a little skinnier or change the height. So it just gives me kind of like a real-time feedback to just edit parameters. So I can see that there. I could say OK and uh, accept them. So that's cool. But what we really want to do here is we want to say we want to start saving some sort of configurations or snapshots or uh, variations of this bookcase so I can quickly switch between them. So if I say I want to save configuration, I'm going to say we'll call this small and you have two choices in here. You can say uh, you can save the suppression. So if I had some features uh, suppressed or unsuppressed, I can record that. And then I can also record the value um, of the user parameters. Uh, currently, this only supports user parameters. Uh, it doesn't support other dimensions. So any dimensions that you want to save uh, into one of these has to be a user parameter, based on a user parameter. So I'll say, OK, I want to create one called small. And then let's, I'll just use this again, so I like having this right here. Uh, let's make a bigger one, a bigger one called uh, 40 by, I don't know, 30 or something. And I could even raise this shelf here a little bit if I want. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and save this one. And we'll call this one medium. And so now I've created two different configs. And so now if I come in here and I say switch configuration, I can switch to small. Just takes a second to rebuild. Or back to medium. And of course, you could keep adding uh, to this. OK, and hit OK to accept or get cancel. And then uh, a couple other things I want to show. So also there's this uh, modify configuration option in here. So in here, what you'd have to do is you come in here and select one of these. So you could say, OK, I want to edit the small. And it'll give you a preview. Say OK. And then once you're in here, now you're editing small. So if I wanted to adjust some size uh, in the actual version of small, I could come in here and say, you know what, actually the small should be, uh, you know, th th uh, whoops, 30, not whatever, 20 something. So let's say I want it to be 30. And then when I hit OK, and then now that's saved. So now if I switch back to medium and then switch back to small, it'll remember that small is now saved at 30. Um, the other thing I might want to show in here is uh, uh, the suppression stuff. So I've got a couple of fillets here on the uh, front of the shelves and on the top. So maybe I want to make um, one with uh, no, no shelf fillets. So I could come in here and I could say, I want to save the configuration. So in this case, I might not want to save the dimensions. It's kind of nice because you, if you do the dimensions and suppression separately, you can actually kind of stack them. So you could say uh, this one's called no shelf fillet. And then I guess you could unsuppress it. 
can just save this one called shelf fillet. And then regardless of what size you were in, you could still come in here and say switch to uh, no shelf fillet or shelf fillet. And you can kind of basically turn them on and off. So again, I could do the same thing with this other fillet up on the top, but I hope the, uh, you kind of get the idea here. So maybe we'll turn that back off, say OK. And uh, that's really all there is to it. Um, hope you enjoy. This is still like a very uh, kind of rough cut of this um, feature I've been kind of working on. Uh, I'm sure I will be updating this in the near future. Enjoy.